Now, to actually make this functional, we need some sort of guide to keep this on track. So let's go ahead and create a guide part. Create in place. I'll just take the default green check mark and I'll create a part called guide one. And I'll go to rectangle by center. And I'm going to sketch on this base right here. Again, if I have trouble seeing this, I'll just turn on the base reference planes and I'll fit that. If I have trouble picking it here, what I can do is just work from this right view and I'm going to lock to that right view, sketch view. I'll zoom in. So I'll go ahead and borrow some geometry here. These lines on the outside. And I'll add a line along the base here. I'm going to go rectangle by center. I'll create some sort of a tray here. And let's just make that 20 tab 10. And I'm going to create another rectangle by center. And I'll just work from the center here. What I'd like to do is just add a little tolerance here, and so I'll just exaggerate that a little. And then I could simply dimension and add a tolerance so the slider won't get stuck there. Let's just put in, say, 0.3. Now what I'm going to do now is go and extrude this piece right in here, and it doesn't seem to pick that up because my base reference planes are on, so I'll turn those off. Now I'll grab that area right there. I need to fit this to see where I am, so I'll fit the view. And let's just create a part here. And I'm not sure how long to make this. I'll just make this 75 to start. And obviously it's in the wrong place. But when I go and close and return, I can simply move that to wherever I like. So I'm going to grab this part, pull this out over where it's more centered here. Let's lift it up too. It'd be up more above the part. So let's put it about right there. I'll hit escape or clear. I'd like to ground this part. So I'm going to put a ground on this part right there. Selected the ground constraint. And then I'm going to come back and I'd like to mate this bottom face to this inside face. And let's change a couple of colors too. Let's go to view. We'll change the saw blade to black. And we'll change this base here to something that sees through. Let's just go yellow clear. And let's run this again. And it looks like this piece, the grounded piece that the slider goes in, should be back here to about here. And see how it goes now. And it looks like this part needs to be a little bigger. So to make that bigger, all I'd have to do is just to go double click, open it again, come onto this face right here, and just pull it out a little bit. So make some adjustments on both ends.